Alrighty, we are back. Thank you for the patience. Let's get this second round going. We're about to hit where we're in real combat. This is the little yellow mark down at the bottom that I can't look at the bottom right. Those are buffs or debuffs that you can get. So if you go to prison, it'll show a little ball and chain. And that's a debuff. You lose strength and agility, I believe. I also think we should be able to equip this bow. Yeah, so this right here, which our strength's at a 9, so we're super strong. Agility's at a 7, so we can definitely equip this. In fact, that us doing that was crucial. Let's make sure so we have a skill we can get up. Houndmaster, we need hunt. Nice doggy's good. It's another buff to charisma. Our dog is going to be with us all game. So having that one buff to charisma is going to be huge. That's going to be the next one. Actually, before sick which sick is the next one now i wanted to love sick because it attacks people and it does make them be held on to but if we're doing solo or low amounts of people that we're fighting so watch so this is an example by the way so if i just run away until he engages combat. Right, that's it. Okay, so now we're going to surrender. Oh, don't get the fuck out of here, you shit. Think I'll let you off to you. No, we finished this. No, no, stop, Boys, stop. No way. I'll slay you, you fucker. No way. We're right enough. Got hit the knees, have you? Got you. And now I'll fix you good and proper. You'll soon learn what justice means. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. I, I could have killed you, bro. So I have to pay 30 gold. But let's say I have a bunch of stolen swords, armor, whatever else that I'm going to be stealing soon. It's a lot better to pay 30 gold when I'm poor right now, even. And I did this as, as an example than whatever else. And if I do these other speech checks, I'm going to lose. And... All right. I'm going to lose more reputation, right. which makes it Just harder sure for me to achieve this. Again. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. You really fucked up my day, bro. Alright, I just want to go fucking hunting with little Prince Capen. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. So I'm going to say the funny one. We're going to make Henry a little bit sassy from here on. Can't I borrow a horse but like sir, he's a prince? A horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. God be with you. Not a peasant. I'm a squire. For anybody who doesn't understand what that is, that's somebody who works underneath a knight so i would be now it's not perfect in this game at all at least for what i understand to be historically accurate but generally speaking that means if the knight's putting on armor like big plate armor and stuff like i don't have mostly because i sold all of it but sorry got a little bit of hiccups going on um the squire helps them do that if they need their sword grabbed or their horse taken care of. That's a squire. Basically, a knight's bitch is a squire. Let's go! Yeah! Hurry up, blacksmith! Hurry up. I can outrun him, and it'd be hilarious for me to do it, except for the fact that then I have to run all the way where we're going. But if I stay right next to him, and if I get slow, I can turn into him and be like that. What? Where are you? Where are you going? I think my dog got in the way. See, like, I can outrun. Like, he's like, ha, hurry up. Like, no gimmick, huh? 
about that business at the ale house? Were we gunning yes, in the sir. first fight? Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemen. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. Understand? Yes, yes. I could. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished, like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. See look at how much I can catch up. And this is even full stamina and outrun. Now again I can't do it. I was picking some flowers to get a little bit of experience. Else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. Listen, I wanted to ask you about Scalic. I don't know if... That is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. Hey, how's it going? Is that you again, Ash? I feel like it was you the last there. time, too, but I had Humans to break it up for the YouTubes. And, um, oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, yeah. eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well... It's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. There we go. If not, we'd be running all this way. Which is just really light. I've played this game up to a point, I want to be known where that point is. Where I basically stopped or whatever I guess, so we're gonna pull these arrows. We're gonna pull the food. Drop that. I'm gonna use regular hunting arrows because boy, I'm using the good ones. We're gonna. Oh, don't do that. We'll eat this. We'll have enough to be able to eat that. We're gonna feed our dog yeah, some dried meat. He's gonna yell at us to go get wine and stuff out of the thing. I'm gonna try to give him one where normally I give him all the wine and stuff. So he just sat down, so he's about to yell it. We're gonna eat this. Bring wine and bacon. Fetched it. Coming up, sir. At long last. Oh, I can't give him. This one. So, I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratto for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. 
How come Hanish looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanish is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep. Bleating all the time, even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar, one at least. And a few hares too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scallops, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. I didn't mean to do that. Well, we will do real quick. We should have, I believe, blacksmith kit. Oh, so it does ruin that as we go through. Damn. Okay, so we're going to rest at 21 and then we're going to sleep the rest of the night. We're actually going to go to 22 just to give us an extra hour. That should get us through the dark period. So we got to go to hopefully 7. 7 to 8. Okay, that's fine. Can we jump up? Oh, we jumped up. Nice. So the buff from being the wanderer is huge. Makes this little dirt bed like a feather bed, basically. Now, what's funny is if I try to wake him up. Sir? I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early. God be with you. To heal, Mutt.
That's a good boy. That's my boy. Fucker just went and laid in another part of the camp. We're gonna go to eight o'clock. What are you waiting for? Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant. We'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh. And if you don't have anything to I shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, That's there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. <laughs> By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your... Ugh. He doesn't want me to follow him. So I'm going to try to shoot these hairs myself. I have to get used to the bow real quick. So if we go up on this field area right here. I didn't know it would be right there. So that's three, we need one more. Dog, take care of it. So one more for good measure. Bringing me a dead body.
Let's hunt. Hair. Right there. Long shot. Already has it. Let's have to give our good boy some meat. Look what I've got. You love. Now, if you already know, I have a hundred plus. So we're going to give him that, we're going to cook a handful, which we'll find the road right over this way. We can actually ping it. Yeah, it's right in front of us, I don't need to ping that. This is where game knowledge becomes OP. Uh, should be over here. Oh. So we're gonna cook some rabbit as long as it's less than four, I wanna say. We should be good. 19, you're wild. So we'll do a test real quick. We're gonna eat till our belly's full. Sleep. For as long as we can. Oh, got my problem. Oh, dirt. It's literally right by my right foot, but I can't reach it. We don't need our bow out. We can go here. Should be back by then. Hopefully it doesn't take more than 45 minutes, which is roughly what that'd be. How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, show me. Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. For a common blacksmith's boy. <clears throat> Shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence. A serf asking his lord for coin. But never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well then. Your serf humbly thanks you, my lord. And now come along. Let's go and hunt. This is where the game's about to get interesting, by the way. Henry, follow me. Once we We're get through this hunting. next cutscene situation and I know right where to go and this is where I could show you the real power of combat which I'll explain while we're doing it. First off always remember defense is the best thing for a good offense especially in Kingdom Come Deliverance. You don't want to get caught with your pants down striking all over the place randomly nothing like that. Upright down. We'll, we'll refocus it, but upright down and left, bottom right, stab. I want to say upright down, left, right, stab. So there's going to be light sneaky tactics for the beginning.
So here after this tree or this tree will be in a clearing that he'll basically stop the set. Here's the clearing. I don't remember how far he goes. We're looking for wild game. Yeah, it's two dogs. I don't think we can get two dogs. In my ears, the hoof steps are still to my left, which makes no sense. But if I go here, it's like middle, you know? <laughs> Like, if you're on his side, you'll hear on the side he's closest to. Yeah, he's going away for the... Maybe it's after this, damn. See here. Well, uh, that ain't been freshly rooted. There'll be ball somewhere nearby. So, just like last time, slow and quiet, whatever you do. Understand? Or watch out for them from the top of that man there. You want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why? Why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. <laughs> Did you see that? Good shot. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Put me wrong, I guess. So next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can. Fuck! After him! Fetch! Mount up, Henry! We're gonna chase down that swine! Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna chase down said swine, which will explain what happened with yeah. it, too. Yeah. He's dipping out with a horse. He's pissed. So where we're looking is roughly in here. And when we clear those clouds, which are just basically us not being to that part of the map physically like this. You can run through it doing fast travel. It's still not going to be open. So we're going to do a healthy amount of fast travel, but not a huge amount. We're going to check it. Yeah, see, we're still pretty far. Nothing crazy. There we go. So I was a little bit south of it, so we want to go just the top side of this. Now we're actually going to play this different than I've played it every time. So what we're going to do... We're going to put on our better hunting arrows, which have 80 stab versus 80 stab, so... Generally, what we're going to actually do is do this. We're going to open this up with an arrow after saving. Making sure we at least get a hit at the very beginning. And worst comes to worst, we're going to fight real combat with them. I was kind of running the wrong way for a minute there. See the little tent? I believe that's it. We are going to start sneaking as we get ready to go over this hill. Now in this game, shadows, darkness, darkness of clothes, cover, play into it. Now there's one. I fucked your mother yesterday, pagan. Two she said your old people man here. Get it up. <laughs> hey, 
Még ki van ott? Mit keresel itt? Életlenül kibújtál az anyád szoknyája alól? A szentség is! Your mother is a ho! So we're gonna keep Lady backing Richard, out. Ott van! Na, hogy a faszba? Oh, right. Upright stab. We're going too high. Henry is doing decent right now. Again, we just killed two guys. So they killed the dogs, is what he just said. We just ate a bunch of food while homeboys tied up, by the way. Damn, you had a bad day. So if we look, we're gonna pick these chests first off. There's two of them. See how close that is to the inside? That's perfect. If it could have been like on the outside of it, the outside of the inside, like if it can start right here, that's good. If it starts right here, that's the best. It. There's something that I've seen that I want to show on stream, especially. This homeboy really just he killed a whole hair. So we're gonna go for antlers, antlers and tanner. Uh, not, not right away. Oh, here. Oh, that's the dog. Dog, dog, horse. Rip, rip to those. That's actually the first time that I've seen those, which I'm sad that they're generally been able to find the hog dead. What are you doing? Untie me for God's sake. So I'm going on time. That's true out annoying boy. Henry! The only thing else, I'm just curious. Henry. Nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, Henry, old chap. You're not gonna leave me here, are you? I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit! <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber! 
Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> now you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own two hands, I'd crush your balls. <laughs> that wound doesn't look good, so Han. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse has bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go then. I've had quite enough excitement already. It's Lord Capon! Get here! Everybody! You, help him! Damn, he got fucked up. Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. But to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says oh. brigands raided the stud farm this morning. Oh. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Vanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scarlet's. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Quick recap. We don't so. know much about what happened, just what that Neuhoff stable boy told us. Get your arses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. Can we go? Not yet. Well, why are you wasting time? I may piss him off doing you that. But we're going to go sell everything we got from the last guy. So yeah, there you go.
Hopefully you saw why the combat's so easy when you get used to it. As long as you play defense until they attack and you get a counter, it's easy money after. No, I don't think I should have any weapons, so I'm not going to get very much right here. What else you, sir? So we're not looking to buy Jack Diddley, but we will sell that for 30, 33. I'd like to do. Hmm. Are we agreed? We're getting there. Aye, that would do it. Hmm. It's funny how that works. Now we're going to do something interesting. We're going to actually, hopefully, repair stuff. So yeah, we don't have any way to repair anything. Baked goods fresh from so the oven. Come and sell. get them. Now mind you, right now we're at 441 gold. Not a bad sum. We're at the comfortable stage for wasting money or anything God, like that. There we go. So we'll get 350 out of this. 345. So I shoot while we're satisfied. It's not worth. Boom! That's already blown out. We're gonna go 355. Finally, a reasonable sum. All right, boom! We got that. How much weight do we have? We have 88 weight. We're over halfway full with no solid armor. We're gonna. Place our pieces just so they're marked. Armor's held. All weapons are held. Now we can go sell the rest of this to the general vendor, which is right there. My respects to you. Now we should have a good amount of food. First off, most of this we're just not going to care about. Anything that's not dried is gone. And save your schnapps. That's how you actually save the game. But already you're looking at me. I had to scare my cat. So that cup, that cup. We will sell the hunting arrows, which should be about another two pounds. So we're at 65, 63. We'll sell this, which should be another pound or so. Now we're at 210, we'll get it to 225 plus. Let's have a word about natural. What about this? A nice. Finally. Uh... Did that very quickly without care. Right. So now that's the case. Now we're sitting here. We have a horse that can hold stuff. We're also halfway through. 
on our way. And we're about to go into a situation with detective work, but also with some combat. Now, nobody's been watching, which is fine. Especially for how late it is. We've been live for 45 minutes, so this is going to be a little bit of a shorter live. I'm going to switch back to Call of Duty. Again, just bouncing back and forth in my own brain, what I want to play. I like the chill vibes from this, but I like getting to a point and being done. What we will do actually before I leave is we will go back this way because we should have over 600. Uh, we're at 1k. So we were at 200, went to 1k. 200, give or take. Let's even call it 400. It went to 1k. So we're going to make sure we can go to these vendors. First off, he may have a better... Oh, he's armor vendor. So this will cost 200, allegedly. I didn't haggle. Oops, it costed me 200. Damn. I have 800. We're gonna check this. Cause there's a sword I want. And it's this one right here. 2.8k. Piercer. Razor is a short sword. Soul Slicer, Long Sword, 56, 66. So I just, I need to stab more. I already have a piercer, which is above it, which I don't understand how that works. But, so we already have the best sword going on. Now, We're going to spam this way real quick towards the gate. Fium. Henry's looking like a true knight, ain't he? No, he's not. It's part of the whole joke. He's still not a true knight. Now we're going to get our horse. I forget its name. It's like Pepper Nickel. Poop Head. I forget. It's that gray one right there. pebbles boom all right we're gonna get pebbles we're going to head this way Got lots to do right now. As her name. <laughs> you. All right, she's done till tomorrow. We're fully done up on our things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna eat, finish picking out as I'm eating. We're gonna wait for set hours. We're going to sleep, and after the sleep, we're going to start the lab again. Not this lab, but we're going to go to Call of Duty. pause there for the being able to build up a thumbnail when we start the life again we'll go out with her 
Have a good time. Start our mission. Sleep where we're at. Go meet back with her. And we're basically going to make it a good situation. It's going to be a really good situation. We have a great start. We have a great start. So right now she's asleep, which is fine. If you look at the map in the morning, or tomorrow, we'll be riding over here. We'll probably fast travel here, right up the road, right up there. Nice and easy, right? We'll do the mission, sleep enough to be able to get it to where we are able to meet back with her and have another date. Little Miss uh, Teresa is going to be our lady. I really need to move that monitor, damn it. Alright. Have a good night. Ash, if you're in there, I'm going to be switching back to Call of Duty. I apologize for all the flippy floppy. ADHD brain, you know. So. But either way. Have a good night. Don't be shy. 